take a minute to look outside right now. What do you see? A veteran holding a sign asking for money to feed his family in the cold outside on the street corner? A kindergarten teacher taking her class on a field trip to the museum? A small business owner opening up shop for the day? What do all these people have in common? Each one of these people is struggling to meet basic needs for their health. Healthcare isn't available for everyone. There's a clear divide in access to healthcare between those that are more well off and those that are less fortunate. Lower income people have to rely on welfare, aid, or sacrificing basic needs to scrounge up enough money for healthcare for themselves and their family. Social stigma and financial blockades prevent access to fundamental necessities. The difference in life expectancy between the richest and poorest Americans is 10 to 15 years. The impoverished are more likely to smoke, giving them a higher risk for lung cancer and for respiratory complications. Nearly 50% of children living in poverty have mothers with symptoms of depression. Healthcare is not easily accessible to the poor and subpar when it is available. Reports of ailments like cancer in Youngstown are rather low. The reason for this is that people on low income and or without health insurance are unable to get help for these conditions. 